I recently uploaded a video on uh, how to clean a telescope mirror. Links in the description if you want to watch that. And uh, there was a few comments on that video saying, oh, I wish you'd have shown us how to actually remove the mirror. Well, this channel's all about you lovely people, and if that's what you want, let's get the mirror out of this thing. Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason, and in this video, we're going to be taking the mirror out of this telescope. Now, uh, the mirror removal of any telescope is pretty much the same. Yours may, the, the fixings and, and, and uh, the screws may look a little bit different on your uh, telescope. Um, but, like I say, the, the, the pretty, this method is pretty much the same. Now, some people like to actually take the telescope off the mount and lay it flat somewhere safe. Uh, safest place really is the bed or the sofa, somewhere like that. Okay, you can remove them on the mount. I'm gonna keep this one on the mount, uh, just purely because it's easier to film. Um, so it's entirely up to you. Now, if you're watching this video, you've obviously never removed a telescope mirror before. And uh, I just want to stress and, and point out to you that telescope mirrors are incredibly delicate, okay? So you've got to do this process with extreme care, okay? Sharp fingernails, anything can damage mirrors, okay? So just, just be aware of that. Um, before you even start to think about removing a mirror, make sure you know where you're going to put it, okay? Because you can, you, you're going to have both hands uh, are going to be occupied, okay, and you don't want to be fumbling about, oh, where shall I put it, all right? Make sure you've got a nice, safe place where you can straight away from the tube onto somewhere safe. Depending on what the manufacturer's used uh, to, to use to fix the uh, mirror cell, uh, you may not you need any tools, uh, but in my case, I just need a Phillips screwdriver. So uh, get the tools that you need, uh, have a look. If it's th all thumb screws, uh, then you're going to be fine, okay? You're going to, you can, you can do it with uh, just, just with, with your hands. Uh, but if you see that there may be something that involves a tool, uh, just get that appropriate tool, and you're all set to go. Okay, if you're going to be doing it on the mount, which is it's perfectly okay to do it on, on a mount, um, on a Dobsonian, obviously it would be probably better to to remove it and and, and lay it flat somewhere safe. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is you want to point the telescope directly to the floor all right obviously and then you can i'm going to just lower it in the tube ring just so it's not so high um too much i don't want to all of a sudden lose the tube there we go take it right out there okay now once you've uh, done this lock everything off okay and make sure it's it, it's well locked off because when the <laughs> mirror does come out, obviously all the balance, well the balance is all <laughs> to pop now anyway, but when the uh, mirror does come out, obviously your telescope is going to be all out of balance, you don't want things counterweights flying up in your face or something. Okay, first of all, I'll just explain how your mirror cell is actually uh, fixed into your telescope tube. Now, if you look on the side here, you may notice that you've got some uh, screws that go around this uh, trim here. Okay, now they are nothing to do with mirror removal. Okay, leave those alone. These actually uh, what hold this uh, little trim on here. And I think, I believe part of the actual, where the mirror fix is inside anyway. But it's these uh, six screws that we want to be concentrating on. Uh, but more importantly, the three ones, uh, the three lower ones, should I say here. Now, you'll know that these are the fixing screws on your mirror because they'll sit lower than the actual locking screws. These ones that stick up higher are what, what you use after you've adjusted and collimated your mirror. You lock these ones down to uh, obviously lock your mirror. Okay, but what the screws that will actually take um, this, the cell out of the telescope tubes are the ones that sit lower. Now, with the telescope in this position, it's perfectly fine now to completely undo and remove these three uh, lower set screws. So that's what we'll do now. Okay. So there's one. Again, put these somewhere nice and safe. 
don't want to be losing these. Um, yours again may be just thumb screws. If the thumb screws, remember it's the lowest ones, the ones that sit low. The lowest sit lower than the, the uh, locking screws. Now, for goodness sake, do not <laughs> remove or alter your telescope now because your mirror will fall out. Now, the best way to do this now, well, <laughs> it's not the best way, I should not I should say. The best way is to, to have it laid uh, on, on a bed, like I said at the start of the video. This is the way I take mirrors out. You can do it this way, but like I say, uh, please, please be careful. Uh, now, on your uh, locking screws, just just take them out a little bit, all right, and make sure that they are locked into the mirror, all right, that they're not right at the limit, yeah, and you've only got one thread, make sure they're in there, okay, and these are going to be uh, where we're going to actually grab onto the mirror cell and remove it, all right, now make sure that you lift it well clear of the tube before moving it to one side, okay, they're usually about as thick as what you can see the trim here, so you're going to have to lift it up that clearance. Now, if you're going to do this method, for goodness' sake, make sure you've got a good grip on these, uh, on two of these screws that you're going to be removing. All right, so get a good grip, all right, and lift up. You'll see that it, there might be a little bit of resistance like that, but the cell will come up like that. All right, now take it clear of the tube and place it onto your nice designated. Okay, now we can put it down on our safe place, just like that, and that's it. You've safely removed your uh, telescope mirror. Um, now, if you think the method that I've just done is a little bit risky, then do the bed method or the, uh, like I say, lay on your sofa. And to be honest with you, if you've never removed a telescope mirror before, that's probably the best way of doing it. Um, this is just the way I've done it. I've done it numerous of times, so, you know, I'm, I'm quite uh, confident that, you know, I can safely remove it without dropping it. Um, while your telescope's out like this and you've got just an empty tube, it's always a good idea maybe to just give it a light uh, rub inside with a damp cloth or, or dry cloth really or whatever, just to get rid of any loose um, dust that may have accumulated and uh, just give your telescope tube a good clean on the inside. While the mirror's out, um, I I just a quick mention, and if you are cleaning it, you're obviously going to uh, need to remove it from the uh, from the holder, if you like, uh, the actual mirror cell. Um, and this is where these uh, clamps come into it. Now, they simply are. They, they, they're only. They're usually Phillips screws, or they, sometimes they can be Allen screws, and they just. Uh, well, I'll, I'll take one off just to show you. Okay. How they work. You just undo these two. Probably again, better if I put my glasses on. <laughs> okay, remove those. And they're quite long screws. I'll take those off. When you ever you're doing any work on a mirror, another little thing, um, always remember to use your fingers as much as you can. <laughs> okay tools damage mirrors okay even fingernails can at, uh, at times now if i just turn that round so you can get a better view of that as you can see all it is is it's like a little block that clamps down onto the mirror now it doesn't actually clamp down all right it just holds the mirror in position and that's important when when you come back to uh, refixing this Make sure that you literally are only just, you're not even nipping these screws back up. You know, as soon as the screwdriver stops, stop. That's enough, okay? Uh, because you can actually cause uh, warping in the mirror if you do um, fasten these down too, too tightly, okay? So that's just a word of warning of when you actually remove it. And you will need to remove all of this, and if you remove all three, the mirror cell will then just literally come uh, separate from the holder and you will be able to do your cleaning or whatever you need to do to the, your mirror. 
little tip I'd just like to uh, point out. Whenever you're working on your mirror and doing work like this, don't be tempted to uh, start putting tools over the mirror and reaching over to do it like this. Always twist what you need uh, to remove. So the next one I'd twist this round and try and tilt the screwdriver slightly away. Okay, because they shouldn't be locked down too tight these, okay. Um, so first make sure you've got it keyed in and always use two hands for the tools, all right? Never ever start doing this. Don't start using your electric screwdrivers and things like that, all right? Always hand tools. And to be honest with you, the things like work around your, um, around your tools, I don't know if you've ever come across them, but there was really cheap uh, little Phillips screwdriver, novelty Phillips screwdrivers that you sometimes even get in Christmas crackers are perfect for this kind of work because they're super light and if you do happen to drop one, you know, they're going to cause minimal damage as well. Something like this, well, I dread to think. Now to get your mirror back into your telescope, okay, um, you just reverse the process of what I've just showed you. But if we just look inside the tube here, Okay, you can see where the, uh, the screws uh, fix now. Uh, one, uh, three of the holes will be threaded holes, okay? And then you may see a mark, all right? They're not actually holes, they're just marks where the locking screws actually lock down and they just kind of scuff the, uh, the metal up a little bit. So these are the holes that you're going to be lining up when uh, you, you put your mirror back in, okay? These are to receive these screws that you took out originally at the start, okay? So they, they're the ones that, that actually fix the mirror into place. So when you're putting your mirror back in, you can hold it uh, by its edges now, okay? Be, uh, because you've got a better grip, you're taking it out, all right? So it's a lot easier to do it this way, or even by the rim. Just make sure you've got hold of it, <laughs> okay? In the best way you can. Uh, now you can see, you want to line one of your holes up, obviously with one of the threaded holes um, that's that's in your telescope tube. So line that up, okay, and gently. Don't worry about dropping it all of a sudden. If if this happens, don't worry, okay, because all it's doing is just the surround that's that's dropping into your tube. You don't have to be, you know, be as gentle as you can. And now what you want to do is if you actually look, uh, you, obviously better in daylight, you can put a, uh, your, your phone light underneath the tube or something like that, just shine light through. You can, using your uh, locking screws, can just remove the, the mirror cell round like that, okay? Until you can actually see light coming through there, then you know you're lined up properly, and then you can refix your locking screws, sorry, <laughs> your fastening screws. Now you've placed all your screws back in, you're all ready to uh, recollimate the telescope. And if you don't know how to do that, I have done a video on that also, so I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for that. Um, well, that's about it for this one. If you like what you're seeing here, uh, I don't just do you know mirror removals, I do all kinds of things astronomy related, uh, mainly aimed for the beginner astronomer. So don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button and, uh, and the bell because I, I do do regular uploads. In the meantime, take very good care of yourselves and I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.